Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Tara. Okay, Libra, this is a reading for you. So, we're going to see what we get, what the message is for you today. Wheel of Fortune. Dang, look at that. So, things moving in your favor. Things looking the way that you want them to look. Things um, feeling really lucky right now. We've got lovers there and there's a closeness. Look at that. Um, Ace of Wands. Strength. Strength. Um, so, this can be what you make it. This can be what you want, what you desire. But you have to do the work. You have to put in the work to make it that way. Uh, we've got the moon here and the five of swords. There can be a lot of illusions. Uh, don't allow them to hold you back. Don't allow them to keep you um, in this place of not knowing and really wondering um, where things are headed. Death is reversed there, as you can see. Uh, so that's good. Uh, something that you thought was not going to work out. It's like it's changing around, but you still don't need to. You need to know that the moon can throw illusions, make things look as though they're not. So I feel like that that's why the Five of Swords is here, honestly. I feel like you, you are actually seeing through the illusions, so that's awesome. Uh, we have got here Princess of Wands. You're balancing things beautifully. Ten of Pentacles, you know, um, <laughs> stability is looking good. Uh, four of Pentacles, um, wow, this, yeah, this looks really good, it really, really does, um, it's just got that feel about it, that everything is kind of lining up, and going the way that you want it to go, Knight of Wands is here, because I feel like that you're kind of just taking things, and just going with it. You know, something that you thought was going to end, it's like it's it's come back alive. It's, yeah. So, that's got an awesome feel to it. Um, okay. Okay. If this is a relationship, romantic relationship. There's been some recovery and some sadness if this was something that was romantic. But with the recovery and the sadness has come um, this possibility. You know, seeing things from a new light. Um, having some self-reflections. And really, you know, just seeing things for what it is. And that's beautiful. That's That's got a good feel to it because that is actually dealing with crap. Dealing with it as it comes along and not allowing uh, yourself to be held back or, you know. Um. See, it's like Wheel of Fortune's here, so luck's on your side. You know, things are going in your favor. And that's awesome. That's an awesome thing to hear is that things are going in your favor. That's something that you want to hear, you know. Uh, you don't want to hear that things aren't going in your favor because, you know, I mean, think about it. Um, if things are going in your favor, then, wow, you know, it's like things are working out for you. Um, you could be dealing with a, um, a Scorpio or a Cancer because we do have, um, we do have judgment there. So, it could be a Scorpio or a Cancer that you are actually dealing with, um, I had to write that down. Just looking at my cards there. Um, you could also be dealing with an Aries. I must go ahead and say. Um, because we do have that death card up there. Even if it is reversed. Could be dealing with a Pisces. We have got the moon. Which is, you know, Cancer Pisces. Um, could be a Gemini or a Libra. Because we have got... Um, lovers up there, you know, um, so very well could be, um, a Gemini or a Libra, that is a good possibility, um, let's see, I tell you though, whatever, whoever you're dealing with, it looks like you're taking things and you're really running with it, you're taking, 
uh, the bull by the horns and you're you're not allowing anything to really hold you back uh, per se you could also be dealing with a Virgo up there because I just uh, spotted I forgot about the um, little fortune being up there um, let's see this is awesome advice oh my god love so your advice is to really love and really be loved you know let your love flow and you know it's like you draw more of what you want you know what I'm saying um, you know we've got right here we've got security and that, I see that in that ten of pentacles but I feel like your advice is, you know, um, even though you are, you know, going after your security, don't let love sway, you know, really give that love and allow that love to come back to you. And you have the Wheel of Fortune again, destiny. So destiny playing out. Things are playing out the way that they should. And that's awesome. This looks really good. It truly does. Um, looks really awesome. You know, whatever this situation was that you thought had ended and it, it just kind of come back alive, it's like things are calming down. But a lot of it has to do with you having the moment of self-reflection. And that has helped you to be able to see through probably where you weren't seeing things for what they was because you had those illusions with the moon card. Um, so, yeah. In the extended... What I'll look at is if you are dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, or Cancer. So I'll look into those signs, but I'll also ask some more advice for you going forward. Take some more cards going forward and in your life in general. Um, and I'll also take uh, some, money, some cards around money and some cards around romance. So yeah. But that will of fortune, that tells me, and what I feel from that is luck is on your side. You know, it's like opening a, a piece of candy because I'm seeing that like it's a piece of candy. And really not knowing what you're going to get, you know. But it, it's like you're not anticipating anything bad. You're anticipating the best because you know luck is on your side. This is beautiful. Um, it feels like you're very lucky at this time. It really does. So, um, if you like the reading, give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Share the readings out. I appreciate each and every one of you. And that helps to uh, keep the channel going, keep it growing. Um, and, um, yeah, till next time, much light and love. The link for the extended will be below. Bye.